Hey friends and fellow photographers, I'm Jason O'Dell and I want to talk about a cool creative technique that's a long exposure technique that doesn't require a tripod and that's doing pans or swipes or whatever you want to call them it creates unique really fun abstract photographs and it works great anytime you're looking to find some creativity um, you know whether you're traveling, you know, there's lights or flowers or trees, any subject where you've got patterns and colors, you can just experiment with this and make some fun abstract photographs. Now, it's really easy to do a swipe because we're just going to move the camera. You don't need any tripods or accessories or anything like that for the most part. Um, if the conditions are a little bright, you may need to use a filter. So let's talk about how you can set this up. The concept of a swipe is pretty simple. We're just going to take pictures and move the camera, either up or down, left or right, angles, whatever you want to do. It's got like panning, okay? And the secret to a good swipe is getting the proper shutter speed. And what I like to use is one quarter, one fourth of a second. The way I do that is I'm going to set up my camera, and here I've got my uh, D850, and I'm going to put the the camera into either shutter priority or manual exposure mode. I'll just use shutter priority for now. This allows the camera to choose an aperture and I'll dial in the shutter speed. So all I'm going to do is dial in quarter of a second, so that's four here, and then the f-stop is going to vary depending on the brightness of the scene. Now to ensure that I can get that slow shutter speed, especially if it's bright, I'm going to want to set the ISO to its absolute lowest value. So I'm going to press the ISO button and just dial down to low 1.0 so that's low one. So in the case of this camera that's ISO 32 or equivalent. And I'm going to go ahead and use auto ISO. So I'm going to turn auto ISO on and you can do that from the menus or you can do that for my little auto ISO trick. Press the ISO button and turn the front command dial. It toggles it on and off. So I've got my camera all set up. So quarter of a second Aperture can be whatever it wants just to get that speed, and I look at the meter and I make sure that I'm not uh, under or over exposing. I just want to make sure that that needle says zero. And then I'm going to put the camera into continuous high speed advance, and I will just simply fire off a bunch of frames, moving the camera up and down, back and forth, left to right. You never know what you're going to get, so it depends on the scene, but it can be really fun. Um, when you're done, you'll get these really neat abstract images. Now what if it's bright? What about it's too bright, you, you're overexposing, you can't get the right shutter speed uh, because the scene, you know, it's the middle of the day or whatever. Uh, in that case, you're going to want to use a filter and there's two filters that I recommend using. Um, the first filter is one that you probably already have and that is this one, a circular polarizing filter. Okay, if you've got a polarizer, you can put that on. It's usually good for about one and two-thirds stops of light reduction. And oftentimes, that's enough to get your shutter speed uh, slower so you can do these pans or swipes. If that's not enough, I recommend using a solid neutral density filter. And one of the ones that I would use would be like this one. And uh, this is a, uh, a Breakthrough Photography um, six-stop filter. So maybe a three stop or a six stop solid neutral density filter. It doesn't have any gradient in it. Put that on the front of the camera. That's going to reduce the amount of light coming in. It's going to extend your exposure time and you'll be able to do these beautiful pan swipes and create unique abstract photographs. Until next time, I'm Jason O'Dell. Don't forget to check out my website at luminescentphoto.com or on Facebook. I'm out there. Take care and I'll see you next time.